yogurt parfait et chocolate syrup. Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to the third episode of Healing Recipes with Lagos Housewife. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for joining in. Shall we begin? Hi Instagram, hi Facebook, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We're so grateful for another opportunity. And thank you specially for today because I'm so grateful for what you did. I worship you. I bless your holy name. Thank you for everyone watching. I ask that they will learn and the grace to implement you will release unto them. Everything we learn here will be for, the, for our life, our health, our bodies to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. So today, I hope you're seeing the uh, name. Today, I'll be making Greek, Greek yogurt. I'm using Greek yogurt, but you can use any yogurt you have out, as long as it's healthy yogurt. And yes, to know healthy yogurt, if your yogurt can stay outside the fridge, it is not yogurt. It is not. It has been chemicalized and uh, uh, what do they call it? Preservatized. <laughs> Loads of preservatives. Yogurt cannot stay outside the fridge it will spoil any yogurt that can stay outside the fridge is not yogurt so cover that so today i will be making yogurt pancakes with chocolate syrup yes very very healthy and delicious so let me get started i'm first going to mix my dry ingredients number one i'll be using this all-purpose flour from Kasha Organics. This is like the most amazing flour I've ever used. It's white flour with a difference. They have managed to preserve as much of the nutrients as possible and also to keep the protein content so that it is not depleted and it is so silky smooth as in, I wish you could touch it to know what I'm talking about. It's so smooth, so silky. Look at that. As in the day I touched it, I knew, oh no, this is not your regular flour, <laughs> instantly. So, that's the flour I use now. I have disposed of every other flour, and this is now my passion. So, for this, I'm going to be using one and a half cups. This is one cup. Normally, I should use two cups, but you will see why I am using one and a half. It's because I'm going to substitute half cup with something else. And that's what I'll be telling you. So please keep your ears open. I'll be talking as I'm working. So this is one and a half cups. Now, let me tell you something. Pancakes is one of the foods that you can make with any type of flour. If you're looking for a way to use up any flour you have, even pa pancakes. Pancakes goes with any flour. But the issue is sometimes you have to adjust the and liquid content like if you're using oats if you're using oats for your pancakes you have to factor in the fact that oats takes a lot of liquid so you might have to compensate with 
extra milk or extra things like that. You can also use acha, you can use whole wheat, you can use different things. So when I was about to make these pancakes, I was like, what flour should I use? What flour should I use? And I was thinking about it. I wanted a flour that would be generally available to everybody, something they will know. And I didn't want to like say, I uh, use uh, oats because most of you is the instant oats you know. Uh, the regular ones were no, that is not healthy enough. Prefer to use the rolled oats, the old fashioned oats. And I was like, how many people will have that? I thought of Acha. There are some of you that still don't even know Acha. So I was like, what can I use? And you know, and God told me, say, use white flour. I also have whole wheat flour, but I won't lie to you. I'm not a fan of whole wheat flour, no matter how I don't like whole wheat flour. So I, God said, use white flour. And I was like, okay, I'll use white flour. But you know, I kept thinking about it I, because a lot of us know that white flour, most all, practically all white flowers have been stripped of nutrients. That is what makes it white. They have been stripped. Let me just give you a little education. Wheat is made of three parts. The endosperm, I hope I'm correct. The endosperm, uh, which is the flower, God, God, the ones we, that is what grinds into this. The endosperm, then we have the uh, mm, wheat gem. Wheat gem is that part of it that is responsible for the reproduction of the wheat. And that is the powerhouse. That is where all the nutrients are packed. And that is part of what is stripped away when they are making white flour. Also, it, is, it also has bran. Bran is the fiber aspect. That's the brown part of it, the fiber aspect and all that. So they, they strip the bran away and the wheat gem is also stripped away. So what you are left with is the endosperm. That is what is used to make the, uh, the flour. So even whole wheat flour, sometimes they strip the, uh, what do they call it? The wheat gem away from it too. So the fact that something is whole wheat does not mean it contains. The one that contains it is the one you hear whole grain wheat. Whole grain. When you hear whole grain, it means nothing was removed. That's if they are being truthful. <laughs> so that, that's what it means. So I was not like, okay, this, um, it's the wheat gem, which is the nutrient that contains the folic, the vitamin, the everything, the nutrients has been stripped away. What about white flour? And I kept thinking about it and I said, no, God will not tell me to use white flour without a reason. There must be a reason. I know this God. And I said, Father, why did you tell me to use white flour? There must be a reason. This healing recipe is about health. And, and the Holy Spirit said, read up about wheat gem. So I went online, I started researching about wheat gem. I read and read about it. And the more I read about it, the more I was like, ah, this thing has been removed now. Boy, it's so healthy. It's so this, it's so that. Why? God, this is still not answering my prayer. And he said, continue reading. And I continued researching. And then I bumped into something that immediately made me understand why God said I should use white flour. I just saw. And they said, if you simply want to return the nutrients back to your white flour, either you buy wheat gem, and I wondered, where am I going to get wheat gem? I don't even know where to buy it and all that. Where will I tell people to get it from? It's something that is not that common in Nigeria. And then they said, or you use flaxseed. And my head just did, boom. And they were like, flaxseed has the same nutrient profile almost the same just a few subtle differences in maybe quantity this one has a uh, 12 percent uh, folic this one has the uh, folic acid this one has 12 uh, 20 percent just subtle different but it has almost the same prof uh, nutrient profile as wheat gem and they say you can simply substitute and add flax seed and your white flour will just have the nutrients it lost back and I said this is it this is why God was telling me to use white flour he was trying to teach me how to make white flour healthy again for consumption and here's the wonderful thing about flaxseed that even wheat gem does not have flaxseed has omega-3 fatty acids 
I hope you know the importance of omega-3 fatty acids. It's extremely good for the heart. Very, very good. That's the same omega-3 fatty acid that is found in certain oily fish. That is what you get in flaxseed. So, the consensus was that flaxseed is even a better nutrient than wheat gem. So, if your flour has been stripped of wheat gem, simply replace it with flaxseed. Let me now tell you the funny thing. Every single time I bake with white flour, I actually add flaxseed to it without even knowing what I was doing. I just used to add flaxseed. I always add it to my bread, to my cake, to my anything. I'm always adding it. I even grind it up. I think I've shown you a picture of how I grind it and add it to cereal and everything. I did not know it was such a perfect substitute to restore nutrients. So you see why I said that? What I said I'm going to teach you? As in God is just so amazing. Very amazing. So now you know, flaxseed. For those of you who do not know, this is flaxseed. This is what it looks like. You can get it in the market. It might not be in smaller markets, but you can get it in mile 2, mile 12, sorry. And many of these major markets, and a lot of vendors have it. I know I got this one from Vic Dams, and I, uh, uh, Ojima also has for sale. She also sells it. And I, I think Agas Wholesome also has too. So very easy to get flaxseed. And all you have to do is just simply grind it, which is why I have my dry meal gr uh, grinder here, and simply add it. You can, for this, recipe you can add up to half a cup uh, half a cup of it to eat but i'll actually not be using up to half a cup i'll be mixing it with cashew nuts i just want to increase the nutrients so now let me get back now that i've explained to you let me get back to my uh, mixture so inside here i have one and a half cups of flour then i'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. I hope it's baking powder I'm using and not baking soda. <laughs> there was a day I made, I forgot I used baking soda in pancakes. It was extremely bitter. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Very bitter. Tasted metallic. Nobody could eat it. So I'm not making that mistake today. <laughs> and then I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon. Just a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And the reason I'm adding this baking soda is because I'm going to be using Greek yogurt. Baking soda will react to the Greek yogurt to make it fluffier. But it is not compulsory. If you do not have baking soda, please use your baking powder. So, and yes, normally I should add like a little pinch of salt to it. But because I'm going to be using roasted cashew nuts, which already has salt inside, I will not be adding extra salt. So to this, this is my date sugar. You know I do not use regular processed sugar. I'm using date sugar and to this I'll be adding two tablespoons of date sugar because I want it sweet. Many of you don't know I have sweet tooth. It's just discipline that is helping me. So that is that for this one so let me whisk it together and then i'm going to grind up my flax seed and my cashew nuts to make half cup and i'll add it to this before then i'm going to be using chia seed you all know chia seed this is what chia seed looks like this is just for extra nutrients and i'm going to be adding uh one teaspoon uh, sorry, one tablespoon of chia seed. Now, when you're using chia seed, please soak it before you use it. If not, if you eat it like this, it's just going to pass through your body. It will not dissolve. You will not get the nutrients. You just poo, poo it out exactly the way you ate it. So if you want to get the nutrients from flax seed, soak it or grind it. That is uh, from chia seed. The same thing for flax seed. Either uh, soak it or grind it. That's the way. So for this, I'm going to soak it. I have a little coconut milk here. I have a little coconut milk here. I'm going to be using that to soak the chia seed. And yes, if your Greek yogurt is too thick, you know it's, uh, Greek yogurt is uh, quite thick, and your pancake turns out too thick, you can uh, actually just add a little liquid. You can add water or milk, whatever milk you have. I have my coconut milk. I just made it like one hour ago, just now now. So I'll just add that to it to soak. 
So I'm going to end up adding this to the uh, to my pancake. You can see. It just needs to soak for like 10-15 minutes. So I'll just leave that there and I'm going to grind up my flax seed and cashew nuts now. Let me put this aside. So, cashew nuts. Those of you who put cashew nuts in long neck bottles, it's only God that will judge you. I'm telling you now. I've written about it before. It's very annoying. <laughs> so okay I have that then of course my flat seed I'm just going to measure everything up and make sure it comes to half a cup after grinding so let me just quickly Grind that. releasing its oils you can use any type of nuts you want ground nuts pecans walnuts whatever feel free the world is your oasis i'm just using it to add extra flavor so you are under no compulsion you see i have my half cup toss that in i'll i'll use this for another recipe later Whoops, let me lock that, put that aside. So, yes, so my dry ingredients are ready. Now, while my chia seed is soaking, hmm, don't let me use this here. I just wanted to test how soft it is. It's already getting soft. When chia seed soaks, it actually becomes, it draws. So that's why many people use it as replacement for egg. The same thing with flax seed. Flax seed is actually the best replacement for egg if you are not eating eggs. I'm going to use eggs in this recipe, by the way. For this, I'll be using butter in my... This is unsalted butter. This is low pack. Another thing about butter, if your butter can stay outside the fridge and not melt, it is not butter. It's margarine. It's not healthy. Butter is to be kept in the fridge. That is what is called real butter. Real butter is made from milk, not hydrogenated oil. So, I'm just going to use like two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to melt this. Just melt it lightly. I don't want it to turn to burn or turn brown so this is also the pan I'll be using to uh, fry my pancake so nothing will waste last last mm. ah, I've been talking and talking and talking and talking <laughs> my husband will say you can talk <laughs> I like that I like teaching when it comes to food and Jesus I talk a lot So, yes, my chia seed is almost ready and then all the wet ingredients are going to go into that. Melt, melt, but don't burn. I just want you melted. Melt, melt. So if you're, you, you can use oil for this actually, you don't have to use butter, but make sure it's healthy oil like peanuts, like coconut oil, like sesame seed oil, like soya beans oil, 
and make sure it's pure so you just use two tablespoons of oil that has melted i do not want it very very hot so i'm going to pour that inside here now yes look at that look at the way the chia seed is now if you you can see it's drawing that is how chia seed does when it's softened so this way if you eat it or use it to cook now you will it will actually digest in your body and you get the nutrients from it so to this i'm going to add two eggs oh i forgot my nutmeg two eggs i have nutmeg here I just like the flavor of nutmeg, so I actually was planning to use it inside, inside the dry ingredients. I hope you remember the measurement, one and half cup of flour, then half cup of mixture of flax seed and then nuts, Cash I use cashew nuts, feel free to use any nuts you want. Then this is like a teaspoon of nutmeg that I've added to this so and inside here I have two eggs two tablespoons of melted butter one tablespoon of chia seed and about two tablespoons of coconut milk you are free to use any milk you have available it's just to soak it and add more liquid Okay, to this I'm going to add one full cup. I'm going to need this spoon, so I'm looking for what to use. Okay, let me use the time. I forgot to bring my spatula. That's what is causing all this now. And you can see the kitchen is still not fully back to base. Anyway, this is one full cup of Greek yogurt. This is made from pure cow milk. It is not powdered milk pure cow milk that is a full cup of that let me just clean my hands yes I'm just looking okay yes I forgot don't when I was listing out the ingredient don't worry I'll write it I'll write out the ingredients in the caption So, we have that. Can you see? Everything perfect. And to, I'm now going to add it in with my... Liquid... Uh, I'm going to add the liquid in with the dry ingredients and this is where you will know if you need more milk and from the way it is looking yes I need more milk that is why I kept this handy so just start adding small small so that you will not get it too liquid <laughs> That's the English I'm always using, too liquidy. Okay, this is still going to need more. Don't worry, I did three bottles of this, so I'll have extra. I'm going to show you the texture your pancake should be, so that what, whatever you are adding, whether water or milk, you will know how it should be. Okay, I think I'm still going to need a little bit more. I have one here hibernating and waiting for me. <laughs> it's coconut milk. a bit more 
the reason it is this thick is because I use thick Greek yogurt. If you are using regular yogurt, you will not need to add as much uh, liquid to this to get this texture. So just know the liquid content of whatever you are using. And you should know that the thicker the pancake is, the longer it's going to take to get done. So you are going to need lower heat so as to avoid it burning. This is not Nigerian pancakes, by the way. You know our Nigerian pancakes are, are flatter, more crepe-like than pancake-like. This is American pancakes. Okay, I think that should be enough. So, let me just drop this for you so you will see the texture I'm aiming for. Can you see that? That's the dropping texture your pancake should be. And as you're doing this, it's going to be getting thicker. So, along the line, you might need to be adding a little bit more liquid to this. So, back to my pan light my fire put it on i have my brush and and oil here the reason i'm not using butter is number one butter is expensive i'm not using it to fry <laughs> that's not very well that's part of it number two is the fact that butter will make it burn faster so i'm using regular groundnut oil for this and i'm using a non-stick pan So, I'm just going to fry like about a couple of pieces and then do the chocolate syrup so that I don't take too much of your time. When I finish, we'll fry the remaining and eat it ourselves and we'll not be at home. So, to heat this up, heat up, heat up, heat up. Once it's hot and I'm putting the, this thing, I'm going to reduce the fire. There's this uh, myth that they always say when you're frying pancake, the first pancake is always for the testing. It never turns out good. So when you fry the first one, you toss it away. And then from the second one, you can start eating it. And then there was also a, a myth that they said the first fry, uh, uh, pancake is always for the gods. So when you make the first one, you toss it over your shoulder, let it fall to the floor. Don't eat that one. <laughs> so many meats. Don't worry. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. So even the pancake is for the Lord. And since he's our father, we get to eat it. <laughs> I love this. The cover of this my pan because it fits in this fry pan. I never got a cover that fit this fry pan before. Reduce this fire. Reduce the fire. Reduce the fire. <laughs> so, let's wait for that. This is the part I don't like about pancakes. I don't have the patience to wait. So, most times I'm always like, eh, be fast. And then I flip it before it's ready. And then it breaks. And it leaks out. It's still pancake. We'll still eat it. Only that it will not be pretty. So, because I'm doing this for you, I'm trying to be patient. Be patient. Be patient. All of you be sending me patience vibes. Be sending me patience vibes. Still taking too slow. Ah, hello day. I've increased the fire. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Be patient. <laughs> Send me patience vibes. Do I? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If not, 
one for bread taking a long time letting it rise i would have loved to do a bread recipe on this healing recipes but maybe i'll just make it a regular youtube video you people are not sending me patience vibes so you are not sending me patience vibes so. <laughs> patience patience <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be patient. I'll be patient. I'll be patient. I'll be patient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll give it to Angel Gabriel. I'll give it to Angel Gabriel. That's for him. Striking Zechariah with dumbness for not believing in him. I told you this thing with thicken is starting to thicken, so I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil to it. Uh, yes. Coconut milk, sorry. And this is the coconut milk I want to use for my this thing, no, for my uh, chocolate syrup. Don't worry, I have extra bottle in the fridge. I'm going to use that one. Okay. Yeah. If you are using oatmeal, <laughs> you are going to end up using about three bottles of milk for it. Oatmeal thickens a lot, a lot. A lot. Hmm. Hey, try your patience is a virtue. Don't worry for the next one. <laughs> <You are spoiled. laughs> well, let's leave this one and move on to the next diet. See the way I'm dented this shape. You see what I'm always telling you. Don't flip your pancake till it's ready. Please don't do that. Don't be like me. Okay, so this one, I'll be good with this. Your oil needs just to be minimal. You see that I'm scraping the rest away. I'm using a non stick pan, so I really don't need that much oil. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Don't tick in again now. Ah, I said you go pour. So. Yes. I husband is saying I should give him. Mm. It's yummy, 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 yummy.
so delicious. <laughs> Don't worry. Who is going to who is coming to visit me next? So that I can make pancake. This pancake for the person. Mm. I must be patient for this one because this is the last one I'll make before so that I can start on the Chocolate syrup so that I won't take too much of your time. Reduce. Okay. So, one of the ways you can know when your pancake is ready to turn is that it, has, it starts having bubbles on top. Once it starts having bubbles, flipping time. Fishy foodies, you are coming to visit me. Please come and bring the children. <laughs> Don't come alone, no. If you come alone, now from gate, I go tell you, say, I am not at home. So come with the children. <laughs> yes, come and see. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Can you see the bubbles? Are you seeing the bubbles? Look at that. Is it showing? Mm -hmm. That's when you know your pancake is ready to turn. If you don't see bubbles, don't be like me. Don't flip it then. Let me still leave it for a little while. Let me get the bubbles bigger. <laughs> I did it. God is telling me, you see, you can do it. Yeah. Patience. Yes, it is an invite. Oh, just let me know when you're coming so that I'll get ready. Are you coming to eat pancakes? Or you are coming to eat al dente noodles? Or you are coming to eat potato and minced meat? <laughs> Whichever one you want, just send me the memo. Or you are coming to eat pounded yam and not berry <laughs> with goat meat. That's actually what I ate yesterday night for dinner. Not pounded yam, two rice with all berry. <laughs> one, two, three. Look at. Can you bend? Look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles on top. At this point, your pancake is ready to turn. Look at that. It will not break. I increase the fire. That's why it has this. So, yes, I'm still patient. Just a little bit. <laughs> People will say, ah, pancakes is a quick meal and everything. It's a quick meal. The frying is not a quick meal. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I don't like things that make me wait. But you know, I, I found out a way to do pancake sharp sharp. That you won't have to be waiting. That you will not have to be waiting. Oven! Just put them in a sheet pan. Put, 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 and put in the preheated oven, and you'll be ready in no time. You just ignore it. And yes, air fryers also do it. You can do it with your air fryer. But I want to show people how to do it if you don't have oven, if you don't have air fryer. So now let me get my things ready. Let me put this aside. Let me get my things ready for the chocolate syrup. For those of you who look for ways to have healthy chocolates, this is it. I'm coming, let me get my 
coconut milk, the one I have remaining. Thank God I made extra. So, for this, I'm going to be using half cup of milk, uh, coconut milk. Please feel free to use any milk you have available. It really doesn't matter. It will still be delicious. Half cup. Sorry. Okay. My pancake is ready. <laughs> he took the plates. <laughs> My husband took the plate. He has gone to be eating the pancakes. So, this is it. Look at that. Don't worry, I'll make the rest and post the picture. But don't let's waste too much time. So, I'll put the fry pan aside. Inside here, I have half cup of coconut milk. To that, I'm going to add... Now, I wanted to use cacao, uh, cacao powder. That's the pure cocoa powder, actually, the cacao. I have that. I got it from MD Naturals. But I said some of you might not have access to it, so I'm using regular cocoa powder. Yes, this is regular cocoa powder. I'm going to be putting three, tea, uh, three uh, tablespoons of that. I'm going to be using three tablespoons of that. And then to this, I'll add honey. Feel free to use uh, date syrup if you have date syrup or if you have pure maple syrup. This is to taste. So you can just continue adding and adjusting till it gets to the flavor you want. And you put that on fire. It's delicious. <laughs> See what my husband is saying? He said the, the pancake is delicious. I know. <laughs> So, you simply whisk, again, I did not bring my spatula, Gloria, you did not remind me to bring my spatula, so I'm having to use measuring spoon to stir, thank God it is plastic and not metal. So this will depend on your flavor profile. <laughs> And we are going to bring this to a boil. Let me test it. Mm. Okay, I think that's good. That's good. Me, I don't like it too sweet. We are just going to bring it to a boil. Let it boil and thicken. That's the whole point. Finish the pancake now. Shoo. <laughs> Angel, Angel Gabriel. <laughs> you are eating Angel Gabriel's one. <laughs> boil, syrup, boil. Fill this pot with the Father's glory. Send forth your aroma. Let us smell and enjoy. Boil, syrup, boil. Fill this pot. Here's one thing about this syrup. Please don't leave it alone. It burns. So you need to continue stirring it constantly. If not, it burns very fast. And the reason it burns is because of the honey. If you're also using date syrup, it will burn very fast. So please, and especially if you are using regular milk, milk burns very fast. So be careful with it. Are you seeing the way it's bubbling? Please turn the camera and let them see the way it's bubbling. Yes. So it will start thickening. As it is boiling, it will be thickening. Please be stirring constantly to avoid burning. And you can allow it thicken as much as you want. Or if you prefer it to be more liquidy, you don't need to let it uh, boil so much. The longer it boils, the thicker it gets. And it's very hot. So don't just put your hand in it. Very, very hot. Mm. 
I think my son will like it sweeter. He actually prefers it with date syrup. But I'm mising my date syrup. It's almost finished. Until I have time to make another one. Uh -huh. I do well. My spatula is here. <laughs> Look behind you and get me salt. Oh, is there salt there? Okay. Mm. Now, for me, this is enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it off now. Are you seeing the inside? So, now salt has a way of making the taste pop. So just put a tiny bit of salt, not plenty. Look at all I'm going to put. That's all. Then, I'm going to put something that will help it. I'm going to be using vanilla. This is pure vanilla. This is vanilla beans. Those of you who do not know what vanilla beans look like, this is it. Let me bring out one for you to see. This is the vanilla pod. The beans are inside. When you slice it open, the beans are inside like tiny, tiny seeds. So you can just drop that. You can cut it open and drop the seed inside. This is pure vanilla. But I will not be using this. I'll be using the vanilla flavor. You see that they have been cut open the seeds and the pod have been put inside a little bit of alcohol and this has been kept for years it can stay forever so look at that so that's what i'll be using and i'll just be using a tiny bit of it you don't need a lot it's quite potent and the final thing i will be adding is a little itsy bitsy part of butter this will take the taste dimension to 100 please do not use my dream my dream will just mess up the taste it is butter this thing needs the taste will just go boom and it will make it so silky so just stir that in and your chocolate syrup is ready see everybody have given this recipe they have been like my children cannot stop asking for it Personally, when you make it with date syrup, it's actually more sweeter than if you make it with honey. So, I will encourage you to use date syrup. So, please try this recipe. I'm begging you, please, this pancake and this, it's amazing. That's what we'll be eating now. Once this is over. <laughs> My husband has taken it. Shall you see? I should bottle it and be selling it. I said, it's everything I want to sell. <laughs> so, that is it. Let me quickly get to work and fry the remaining so that we can get to eat. So, let me round this up. I hope you enjoyed it. Please try it and let me know. I'm going to list the ingredients for you in the caption so that you can see and know what you need in exact measurements. But, the method of preparation, simply watch the video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. And I will be bringing you another delicious, healthy recipe. Father, we are so grateful. Thank you so much for the gift of food. We, are, we love you for that so much and for every other thing. Too. <laughs> Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I ask that your healing will go out to everyone who needs it in their lives, in their health, in their marriage. 
in their minds, in their jobs, in their businesses. Let your healing power go out to them and let there be testimonies from your people of your goodness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The week is blessed to you. It is a beautiful week unto you. Blessed. The, what happens to people in the world, you'll be spared from it in Jesus' name. The Lord will go before you and go with you, crown you with his favor and goodness. In Jesus' mighty name. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry for taking your time. I'm sorry you're not going to be eating from my pineapple. I said pineapple from my pancake today. I will eat it on your behalf. Bye. You are the Lord that is your name.